morning, Sam. You have a good sleep? <laughs> so guess what I... Uh, <clears throat> guess what I have also forgotten not to pack from your house. What? My warm-up vest. Oh, yeah. That never, that never quite occurred to me until just this morning at 3.30 when I began to freeze to death. But perhaps I needed a warm-up vest for the ride. Yeah, well... The good news is it'll warm up pretty quick here. Yeah. <coughs> as, soon as, as soon as it peaks over that mountain, we're gonna, we're gonna yeah. be nice and toasty. Yeah, it'll start warming up here pretty quick. Of course. Oh, man. So, I believe that's Jupiter right there. What? It's supposed to be highly visible right now. That star? That's, yeah, that's... it's not north. Oh, that's yeah. It's not the north star, so... Yeah. Because... That's west. <laughs> I mean, that's east. So, huh. the North Star would be a bit there somewhere. Now, a friend of mine texted me before we Crazy. dropped into this area where there was no surface. She said to keep. She said, "Look east because Jupiter should be highly visible tonight." Jupiter. Unfortunately, huh. we had too much bleed off. From this last night, I wasn't able to see as much as I thought I'd see. Yeah, I forgot to look for the comet. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't, yeah, see, anything. I didn't see anything, but <clears throat> oh I man, didn't, uh, I didn't fall asleep till just after midnight when they finally went to bed and turned off the spotlight that went right under the tarp into my face. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then at <laughs> and then at just after three, I woke up because. I was cold. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that, wind, that wind really picked up. Oh, it picked yeah. Up tremendously. And the problem uh, was... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the wind really did pick up, Sam. <laughs> I dare you, I dare you to not edit that out. <laughs> oh, that's funny, so that was you earlier, but I was, I was sitting here, I just sat down, and I'll say this. Like, looking around going, did I, because I had my earplug in, I thought, I said that sounded like a fart, but... <laughs> So, circumstances change. Uh, we're a few miles down the trail here, and it's become apparent that uh, Sam's trailer is not very compatible with his bike, and it's pressing on his rear derailleur, and uh, it's caused some, a little bit of damage. So, um, uh, to make matters worse, we're out of cell phone service. There's, there's no signal whatsoever, so we're going to have to uh, ditch his trailer. We just it can't, can't work, so we're going to have to take what's important off his trailer, hide his trailer, and try to come back and get it uh, later. And we're going to have to, uh, uh, you know, fix his bike and get it running properly again and then uh, keep on down the road here. I don't know, another, you know, 15 or... Yeah, it's, it's a ways. Um, and so, yeah, down there we can at least uh, maybe hope to get a phone signal and <clears throat> arrange a way to pick up the trailer. But these are kind of the things with uh, bike packing, you know, 
Uh, this is, you know, obviously my first go at it. And uh, so there's all these little unforeseen problems that you've got to work out before you, before you do anything super serious. So uh, anyway, we're going to have to be a little creative here today and, uh, you know, uh, problem solve some things. And uh, it's going to be a tough slog this next 15 or 16 miles. Um, so far the commando seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, I've lucked out here. The trailer, though, is... You know, it makes it, it's a difficult thing. Uh, it is hard going. Uh, I'm not sure trailer is the way to go for bike packing. On some trails, it's probably fine, but um, I think for, you know, the real rough road, uh, it caused some issues. And my trailer's pretty heavy, so anyway, um, we'll, uh, Moloch on here and uh, I'll uh, get Sam's bike repaired and, and get us back on the uh, on the trail here so we'll check in wish us luck Ladles and jelly spoons. Uh, this is your guest host, Sam Hines. Uh, Jared and Craig and I have found ourselves at an impasse. We ran out of trail. Uh, the normal trail was completely impassable, especially with the trailer. So we've had we tried to do an alternate route, which was lower towards the river, and that now having ended at the river, we're doing what's called hike a bike, as you. I don't, I don't know if you can uh, appreciate the steepness of this grade, but he is, I mean, he is about as 
I mean, if he leans one direction, he's going to come down like a sack of bricks. I mean, it's, it's really something. And he's having to take it about, you know, three, four inches at a time. So, as you can see, this was our only pass. Here, all this loose rock, and it appears to be volcanic rock because it, it's all broken down. And this is where our trail ended, and this, in front of this lovely Snake River, and there's Jared, uh, Jared's pack that we're going to have to uh, haul up next. And if you can see, this is straight out with us here. And if you watch my elevation change, I've got to keep going up, up, and up to get Jared in the picture. He's almost up. Hey, do you have your rope? That wouldn't do any good on something like this. Even if, if you got up there and pulled it while we're walking it up? Because, uh, I guess he's almost there. If we had pulleys, you know, like a two-in-one or three-in-one, it would, it would probably help a lot, but... He's at, he's at the sh uh, steepest portion right now. The other, the other thing here is you have to get a purchase before you can pull on the bike. And we're all dealing with, uh, you know, we're, we're essentially wearing, you know, pedal, uh, cycling shoes with SPDs, SPD cleats. And, uh, you know, mine and Craig's, Jared's, they have cleats on them that are for walking, but not the best for this type of terrain by any means. These, we're, we're definitely not wearing hiking boots. We're wearing uh, shoes that make it a little bit easier when you're off the bike to walk around, but definitely not preferable. Better than like a cycling cleat, uh, a road cycling shoe with like a look. Good job, Sam. You're almost there. Sam's turn to make his way. Craig already did it. He was awesome. He's back down for another load. Ooh, you're almost there, buddy. Oh, man, you're Keep right. going. And we've had to take everything out of the trailer and just slowly backpack everything back up. This is steeper than it looks. The camera's not going to do this justice, but... Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. You got it? There you go. You got that on film, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was just how steep this is. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This whole shelf right here is gone. Okay, yeah. You just concentrate on your bike. Keep the handlebar straight. There you go. You gotta move all okay, and you're going to want to put move the pedals back. I... Okay, he's getting into the rocks now. You're going to want to... Here, maybe if I can make it around him, I can help him up. Huh? We have an oh yeah. Well, this is just some yeah. You, you need to. This bike's so like kind of one's a lot heavier than mine. Uh yeah. A lot. I think he's got loaded. You know, it's got oh. saddlebag with all the water in it. You got there you go, Sam. <laughs> he's going into the rocks. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Go, Sam! Almost! There you go. Nice work. You got it. Alright. Round two. So, whoa, this is a rough road. It's a really rough road, but 
we had to get off that other road and climb up this cliff so we're still headed in the right direction but uh, at least we're back on the bikes so to speak Good sign there. The, this is some wild crap. Are yeah. over there? So it's already on? Yeah. Okay. It's recording. Yeah, so you can just It just turned off. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's, it's the same power of the stream just goes, it's still filming. Oh, sure. Okay, right, if on. you want, hey, let me see. I can, uh, or actually, if you jump up there, I'll hand you the bike. Sure? So, yeah, yeah, you can go ahead and climb up, and I'll hand you the bike. How's it going, Sam? Where's that uh, Craig? Oh, is he back there? Okay. I think this is the spot. All right. This has been a hard trail. And I think there's another section here we've got to hike a bike. But then after that, it gets, uh, gets much better. I think this is where I was before on a scouting trip. Uh, when I was reconning this trail. Okay, so we made it to the uh, Snake River Road trailhead and I was able to drop off uh, my trailer. So kind of nice not having the trailer. And uh, that makes it easy, so we should have another uh, 15 miles to go to uh, Ice Harbor Dam, and that will be the end of the ride. And uh, if we make that, then we should have, uh, we will have uh, completed the uh, lower map, so. Very, very cool. So it's beautiful out right now. It's a bit warm, but uh, uh, you know, light, light headwind. 
and the, the gravel is just awesome. Nice and soft. Uh, it's much finer gravel, so we don't have all the huge fist-sized rocks to contend with. This is uh, this is good stuff here. Very easy for the bike to uh, get through this. Ladies and germs, thank you for watching uh, this crazy video on the Columbia Plateau Trail. Um, I know it was very random, um, but I, I just wanted to highlight the trail because even though the trail is really rugged and rough and remote, uh, the trail is worth saving. And the, Regardless of the struggles, I had a fantastic time. And there were some hard sections there, and I would like to do it again. And um, so I, we just need more people aware of this trail and that it's there and that, um, you know, it is possible to complete, you know, fairly large portions, portions of the trail. And so uh, with just awareness, I think we can get people riding it and, um, using the trail and and then you know maybe there'll be some interest in just kind of fixing the trail up and, and saving the trail so uh anyway thanks for watching and um let's go save the columbia plateau trail if you live in washington or, or around uh the the pacific northwest it's something worth checking out so um anyway thanks for watching if you like this kind of crap Go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and I will be talking to you folks later.